How's it going everybody? My name is FMS Isaac and I'm here with a video on Overwatch 2 and I've been trying to upload more of this game since now that all oh, the queue times are gone basically we uh, we have time to play and playing we have been doing I've gone from like tier almost tier 30 I think I'm at like tier around there and me and Reaper have been playing consistently we've been playing with some friends and all that and we've been getting progress done it's been fun it's been a interesting game because like everybody's been saying the online portion at least not not the story because we haven't even gotten that yet but the online portion is overwatch 1.5 and it's i don't view that as an insult because this is only half the game right and it needed to be updated because they're, they're they have new systems new new sound effects new everything new characters added new maps all that and they had to rework some characters and fundamentally change the game so it is like dlc expansion level of release for the online and for when the story comes out you know that's going to be its own thing it's going to be fire when that happens can't wait to see it but as i've been playing this game more and more i've figured out what i like about it and some stuff that's starting to appear that I don't like about it, right? And what I don't like about it, I want to just get that out of the way. It's like, shoot, bro. Tanks are so strong. <laughs> Tanks are so, so strong. Like, let's take a look at Junker Queen, right? Junker Queen is a DPS tank, and she has her crit, or not, not crit. She has her, I guess, well, yeah, I guess crit. Like, when you, you throw your, your, your knife at people, it, it crits them. You can pull them back because it has the, gravita uh, the gravitational thing. It's cool. She does a lot of damage, but she's really tanky. <laughs> and especially if she has her team with her, she is nigh unkillable. And there's tanks that are worse than that, where like Roadhog, really hard to kill. He has his healing, which gives him some armor. And then you have him just getting healed by other people with him having like 700 health. You have Doomfist who's moving around, zipping, zooming all the, all, the, uh, all the way. So he's hard to kill because he's hard to hit. But even if you do hit him, he has like 450 health, I think. Or like, I think 400 health. You have Sigma who's just tanky overall. And then he has the, the Absorb. You have Orisa who's just crazy. Actually crazy. And I, I, I never thought I'd be saying that as an Orisa main. But shoot, she is ridiculous. Like, if you asked me in Overwatch 1, like, a year ago, that Orisa would be, would she be crazy in Overwatch 2, I'd say no. I don't think she would be. But then seeing her here, she's like, Jesus, bro, I don't even know if I want to play her right now, because she's crazy strong. I just, I don't, I don't feel the vibe right now. She's ridiculously strong. She is nigh unkillable. She has so much oppressive power. She's strong. You know, like, I'm glad that they gave her gun cooldown, because I can't even imagine what she would be like if she had no cooldown on on the or the heat up thing on her gun that would have been crazy but tanks to me overall are just they're they're strong you know and they have to be because there's only one of them if tanks were the same way that they were in overwatch one and it transferred over here it wouldn't they wouldn't be good it would just be hey it's the extra body but you still need that six person because you can't have overwatch one characters transfer over to two and expect them to be the same you can't it's, you fundamentally can't have them be the same because then they wouldn't work right some of them just couldn't work well they, they'd struggle or some of them would just legit be broken like they wouldn't work <laughs> fundamentally so it's just like oh okay you know we have to change them but from what I'm getting is honestly that tanks are kind of like over tuned some of them could get over your back a little bit not a lot i don't want them to be nerfed into the ground i want any character to be nerfed into the ground i just want them to be tuned back because jesus like um dps right let's say the reaper fighting like a roadhog or something or uh, an orisa is so difficult it's actually so difficult because this man has two shotguns two shotguns and it's over here he feels like he's slapping him with wet noodles bro it's crazy they're just so tanky. It feels like DPS can't really do DPS. <laughs> Eve, what, what happened to the robot bro over here tweaking? <laughs> but it, it just feels like sometimes you can't do DPS. And it makes you change your playstyle where before I used to just play like, yeah, I'll play with my team and we'll just do damage together. If we focus somebody, we focus somebody, mainly the tank probably. And we'll just play together. But now it's more like you have to go over for the other DPS and the supports. And it's like, people were like that before because that's just how you play a flank. But 
the way I played it was just playing with the team and all that. And it's hard to when, let's say, you have another flank and they're just going around messing with your supports. So it's like you can't really play with the team as much as you could before. If you're if you're a DPS, you kind of have to flank in some situations. And that's good because it's making you change your play style. But at the same time, it's just like, dang, how do I, how do I go about this? So to me, this is a learning curve more than it is... Uh, a complaint but sometimes it is a complaint just some characters don't do damage to tanks and that sucks because how are you supposed to stop them if they have a character who's just nigh unkillable because they have supports the character themselves is really good and their dps is going crazy that's a good team but how are you supposed to counter that right how are you supposed to do anything against that and i like counter the character but just counter the team what do you do as a as a retaliation do you just lie down and lose do you change your character if so who do you change it to because if you're playing reaper and you're doing a lot of damage who do you change to farah i uh, shoot i don't know it's just something that i'm asking but it's a uh, it's just been weird to try to figure all that stuff out and i'm trying to work out the kinks trying to see what what i can do to change that do i play more characters do i just try to play more of the same characters that i play and just like try to get used to the the state of this game I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out by playing whatever comes of it comes of it. But this is one of those games where I was just playing Diva. I wasn't getting the hang of her, but you know, she's still the same old Diva. More damage on her rockets, faster flying time. Her her pellets are basically the same. She's tankier, so rushing down people isn't that hard anymore. You can just go in and hopefully you have like one healer with you you can just rush down one person leave and you'll be straight but now you know you see here with reaper right you'll you'll see when i try to like aim for the tanks it's difficult it's difficult because a i'm terrible at aiming at this game i don't know what happened like overwatch 2 just feels so weird with the guns it's super weird especially with reaper I, it feels like i just can't aim with this character like it's not like even like the damage it's just, it's just aiming this this guy's guns are so difficult for me and I don't get why. Like um Soldier, actually. Soldier I've struggled to play in this game. I cannot play him. Until I get my aim situation down, I cannot play Soldier because I miss my bullets too much for me to try to fight other people. They're going to outplay me. And then if a tank is in front of me, I can't do anything about that if I'm not able to hit headshots. Let alone if they're having a support backing them and all that it's it just makes it harder so i legit just can't play him right now and it's difficult it's really difficult i'm over here feeding and doing bad but then um reaper brings up a good point like you you feel like you're not doing anything on dps but then you realize you have top damage and it's just like yo what is happening like what is going on i don't understand it's just super weird because the tanks are hard to kill you are doing damage to them for the most part if you aren't then you know you aren't but you are doing damage to them, it's just they're getting healed, and they're tanking. Doomfist, right here. Doomfist. Annoying character, I can't stand him. And it's because of support. Because I play support, I, I usually play Ana, no less. And I've just been experiencing this one thing where Doomfist, some tanks, and all the DPS just go after me. I don't understand why. But I do at the same time. It's because I'm support and I'm honor, right? I can't really do much to retaliate unless if I have God aim or I hit a sleep dart and I manage to get peel from my team. But most of the time I'm going to die, right? Like there was a Sombra in one game that I played in Midtown who we just consistently, consistently went after me. And I was next to my team. It didn't matter whether I was far back or next to my team. They just went after me. They just kept hacking me and trying to go after me. They were playing flank, right? They were playing flank like they like how Sombra should be played, or not should, but is usually played. And I understood that, but it was so annoying because it's just so debilitating, right? I'm over here trying to heal my team, trying to get some damage off, and then I just have this pest, quote unquote, pulling up behind me, hacking me, so I can't use my abilities. Then I, they do more damage to me because of that. And then when I'm able to use my abilities, it's too late because they have an SMG and I have a sniper close range. So it's just like, what can I do in that situation, right? Be with your team? I am. It still doesn't matter because they're focused on the top. When when I get hacked in, 
they realize that it's too late. Legit, it's just too late. Oh, then just play another hero. Yeah, of course. I, of course I can do that. But what if I don't, right? Like, it's just, it's, it's just a situation where it's like, I want to counter Sombra with my Ana. If I, if I have to switch and it's like, alright, but then that doesn't solve the issue. It's just changes it to a different thing, right? Like, it's like going to a next lane. Like, it doesn't solve the issue permanently. It solves it temporarily. And even if it solves it, at the same time, the same thing could happen with the other supports, right? Like, I played Lucio and Moira. Moira doesn't do that much damage unless if you have her ball going around. But Lucio does if you can aim it. So it's like it solves it so I can defend myself. But not so I can kill her and all that. But that's just me. That's just me personally, right? Those are solutions that I found and that other people do. But at the same time, it's just like, I just want to play my character, bro. I just want to play a character that I like playing. The fact that switching off of them is one of the better solutions. It's just like, but I just want to kill them with the thing that I have now. Like, because how am I going to improve with the character if I can't do that, right? Like, on a, the way I used to play her, like healing like Tracer or Genji. Shoot, they're hard to hit, but the only way I could get better was by playing her more. So is it just like, I'm going to try to play her more and try to deal with that because, shoot, I guess it's a pride thing. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I think I think that's what it is, but I don't know. It's it's just annoying, especially with tank style view. Oh my goodness, there's nothing you can do. Legit, not a single thing that you can do except just hope that your team is there with you. Because if a tank dives you like Doomfist, or Roadhog, or Zarya, or D.Va, or anybody like that, you can't do a thing. And it's one of the most annoying feelings, because it's just like, alright, cool. What did I do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. I just sit there and just die. Or try to live, but it's no void at a certain point, because it's just like, alright, I'm too low. One soon just put a shield on me. I can't shoot it because it blocked a, it blocked a shot. Whatever, I'm dead. Cool great and then you do that walk of shame all the way back to point <laughs> just like wow that sucks i didn't mention the positives though the game is fun <laughs> i i've talked about the negatives for almost the entire video but the game is fun the characters are fun you know the characters that got hit with the good stuff really got hit so it's just like yo that's fire you know the the new maps are great the lighting the engine is great uh, what's it called the interactions that the characters have add so much more to the story and I just can't wait to see what the story is going to be like with all those interactions I can't wait to see that you have push it's a fun game mode it's not it's not the best but it is better than 2CP or not 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 2CP yeah 2CP I think the the Anubis type maps it's better than that so it's like oh shoot that's cool I, I'm really liking the game right now, although the negatives are pronounced for me, I am liking the game enough to keep playing, so it's super sick. But, video's going to be ending soon, so I'm going to end it here for now. Thank you all for watching, hope you all enjoy I'll see you all next time. This has been Infamous Isaac, and I'll check you all out. More videos should be coming soon on Overwatch, so until then, stay tuned, and I'll see you all later. Peace.